Hi guys, we're, we're back. back. What are we doing today? Another video. One star date versus five star date. Oh yeah, baby. So it was actually kind of hard to find a one oh, star my restaurant. Goodness. It took us like 45 yes. minutes to like, actually choose one. Like I don't know why Google one. or Yelp don't be showing one star. They only be showing 3.6 and up. Okay. But we found one and we're at the location right now. So they are rated a 1.9. We're choosing Yelp only because I feel like it's more it's more like real reviews yeah, exactly low key. because google uh, can you i think on yelp too you could pay your reviews to get taken down though or something i don't know i don't know anyways okay. we're gonna read you guys some reviews of people that Wait, came here we gotta tell them where oh yeah so, so the place yeah, we yeah. found was church's, church's chicken. chicken and i low-key like i went here during my childhood like 10 12 years old and it was okay good my mom would bring us here all the time and i liked it but I don't know, maybe it's different now? Maybe, still be good, who knows? Or maybe it was low rated the whole time and we just never knew. We're gonna read you guys some reviews. We'll put them up on the screen too. Oh dang, this one's bad. I had oh, the peach God. cobbler biscuit and there was a huge piece of plastic in it. Imagine! And I almost swallowed it. Dang, Ew. it looks... Oh, okay, I don't even want to look at that. Good thing we're not getting a peach cobbler. I don't even know what that is. Oh my. Late T said, I got extremely sick after eating here last Thursday. I do not think they are following COVID protocols. Be very careful eating here. <gasps> I love my macaroni and cheese. I thought this was bacon in the mac and cheese. It's not, and according to the reviews, not the first time. What a disappointment. This is not cute. Get it together. It's bottom of the pan burnt pieces. Oh, oh that does look like old macaroni and cheese. Oh, she thought it was bacon, but it wasn't bacon. Oh, oh read this one. Oh, bro, we should have done this after. <laughs> it's going to ruin my appetite. I know, we didn't if even I can, look at the reviews. If I can give zero stars, I would. The chicken was old, the mac and cheese had something nasty in it, the iced tea was hot, and the mashed potatoes tasted sour. Just nasty. I usually enjoy churches, but this one was terrible. What is that? Bro, I don't oh even do it. Okay, before <laughs> we go review, further on, no, <laughs> it's going to ruin my appetite going into this. Okay, so we're gonna go in there and we're gonna rate this place based on their service, their food, and the price to see if like the place is worth it. Uh, okay, let's do it. So this is the location. Oh we're yeah, baby. Place our order and see how good, how or good bad it, it is. is. <laughs> now we can sit in here. All right, thank you. Thank you. Waiting for our food right now. Came out to twenty-three dollars. Oh yeah, baby. We got a chicken sandwich. How we asked for no pickles. We did ask for no pickles. Yeah, we're gonna go ask to see if they could give us the no pickles. So they replaced it for us. <laughs> Initially, they were just gonna take the pickles off. Oh, the I seen them getting gloves and I asked him, I was like, oh, can I get a new one please? Because it's gonna have like that pickles oh, yeah, residue on it. It leaves like a taste of huh? This is the should... chicken sandwich? Chicken sandwich with no pickles? Dude, I remember eating this when I was like nine or eight years old. Her mac and cheese. Doesn't look doesn't like look anything's bad. wrong. Frosted honey it's biscuit. It's like a little dessert. It actually looks pretty good. Last but not least. The two piece? Two um, piece like with french fries. Oh, I remember the french fries being. Should I ask for ketchup? Yeah. So this is a QB. Oh yeah, we also got drinks. I want to try the sandwich first. French fries. Oh yeah, fries. Okay. She said that they were busted. Dude, I remember this being so good. Like, just like normal fries. Like regular crinkle cup fries. Mm -hmm. Not bad though. I like it. Mm -hmm. Pretty fresh though. Everything's hot. You try the thigh, and I try the what's this? That's the thigh. This I'll is try. the leg. Ah no, tray. And if you want. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Let's try. Taste this. Cheers. Test. Oh yeah, and they only have spicy. They didn't have regular. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's spicy. Oh my god. No action. That hurt my throat. Low key pretty good, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's not raw or nothing. It's good. Like, I genuinely rate this over KFC, over Popeyes, sandwich. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm like, eh, it's whatever. Hmm? That's okay. Wait, what do you rate the chicken out of five? Loki, like a four and a half out of five. I was gonna say a four. Yeah, for like four and a half out of five. Like over Popeyes, over. The fries KFC. are like. Just like a three. Yeah, they're whatever. They're yeah. like mid, but they're not crazy. Like like a three, yeah. Three what do you rate the sandwich? Try I think Loki, it it's like. I think because it has like a sauce on it, I think that's the only thing that makes you about. But if it was just the chicken and the buns, it's okay, like a three for me. 
probably like a three. Cause I don't really like the sauce. Like it has like a sauce right there. That's not the sauce though. They butter the bun. Biscuit mm. time. Let's try it. Can I get any other biscuit? Way better. And this has a kind of like a glaze on it. Typically, I don't eat my biscuits. Mm -hmm. I don't eat biscuits. This one, I would actually eat. We need to try the mac and cheese next. Let's see if there's anything in here. What is that? Oh. It does have little crusts, crusts, but like what is it? Let me see. It just looks like the crust of the mac and cheese, Are you but sure? in all the photos, it was like. I don't even it want to explain more it. It looks more gooey, more gunky. It doesn't seem there doesn't seem to be nothing in there. Like deep inside. Ooh. Oh, Cheers. No. It's not bad. Like, better than Chick-fil-A? Oh, I don't like Chick-fil-A's. I will rate this like a three. Try it. You have to. Because he doesn't even like my good cheese in general. <laughs> okay, Mr. Get the one with the crust. He got a spoonful with the crust. It's like regular mac and cheese, right? You don't like it? I don't like mac and cheese, but... I think it just looks kind of old. Like, it doesn't look appetizing. But it's not bad. But it doesn't look appetizing. But wouldn't get it again. No? No, I wouldn't get that again. Next up is the dessert. What's it called? Oh, frosted honey biscuit. This just reminds me of a cinnamon roll, and I love cinnamon rolls. Is, does it taste like the biscuit? Yeah, it is a biscuit. It's not bad. No? I mean, it looks better than how it tastes, but... It's pretty good, though. Like, it's just sweet. the white glaze that makes it... That makes it, like, sweet, hot. yeah. Mm. Don't eat all my white glaze. We do not care. The food yeah. itself is probably like a good like Just in three. general? Yeah. Mm. This place loves just for chicken, it's like a four out of five. But like in general with everything, like a three. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't give it like a one. Oh most definitely not. So let's rate the service. The service? It's good. It's like five out of five. It's like typical service, you know? Okay, just maybe not five out of five, because it did mess up the oh, pickles. The mess ups do happen. I will say yeah. yeah, I don't yeah. Like cool, a four like then. Four out of five? I think a four is valid. Because they're nice, you know, they're just doing their job. But yeah, that was the only thing. But for the price for all the food <laughs> you're getting, it's not bad. Like it's good. Like 22 bucks for all this. I think it's good. I like it. Low key might be a new chicken spot. So what would you rate this? On Yelp right now, it's a 1.7 or 1.9. I would most definitely <laughs> say... Mm. Well, let's say both of our ratings at the same time. Ready? Right, ready? You have it? Yeah. We'll, we'll say our ratings in one, two. 3.2 So we're gonna finish up here. The next we'll catch you guys at the five, five star, star restaurant. restaurant. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. So we're back, part two. As you can see, the time change. It is now dinner time. 7 p.m. We are headed to our five star restaurant date. At Steak 48. Steak 48. Tons and tons and loads of good reviews. It's kind of like a similar to Mastro's. I've seen this place on TikTok. It's really pretty. The food is really good. I've seen like good reviews about it and stuff. So yeah. I can't it's enjoy good. my steak without some. Oh my gosh! Sauce. Yeah. I had to buy some right now. Yes, he just bought some right now. Because none of these fancy restaurants carry any one sauce. They don't believe in it. Maybe they do. I don't know. <laughs> but I had to buy my own. I know he's really gonna log in there with that. Just to be sure. But yeah, we'll see you guys at Steak Pretty. Toodles. Oh, what the heck? You're recording? How are you gonna take this? It didn't fit in my bag, so... <laughs> so supposedly we have to go through this alleyway? I don't think so. We don't know exactly where it's at, but... We're matching, kind of. We just got seated. Look at how pretty! Because I forgot that we said... I put on the little description that it's our anniversary just to see if we could get something. But they give us a little letter. Show them. How's it going? Hello. How about you guys? Good, good. They give us a little card. Uh, from the entire team here at Steak 48, Beverly Hills, we would like to thank you for dining with us. And yeah, just really good. We just got our menu. This is what it says. This is what it looks like. 
It's so pretty. We looked over the menu in the car because there's no pictures on here. <laughs> but yeah, we kind of know what we want already. Oh, so cute. Let's rate this spread. Oh, it's like a croissant, like the texture of it. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. Nice and soft on the inside. Cheers, guys. Like a four out of five, four yeah. and a half out of five. Yeah. Okay. My turn. Go, oh, babe. Oh, it is hot. Cheers. Mm. It's like really warm. Like buttery, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you rate it? It's like just kind of bland, though. But I rate it like a three out of five. What the? Yeah. This thing's delicious. It looks delicious, but it's just kind of bland. Like no, maybe, yeah. maybe if it had some dip or something. Some like dip? Maybe if it had like a sweet dip or something. Oh, okay. But it's good. So as we're fucking up this bread, we just placed our order. What did you order? Yeah. I got salmon and we're spreading a Caesar salad. But they told me, how did I want my salmon? Oh, that's what you think. They talk so like fancy that I don't even know what kind of salmon I got. Maybe I got raw salmon. I don't even know. What did so, you get? I got a ribeye steak. Oh, I'm all doing it. So what did you get, babe? I got a ribeye steak with some french fries. Oh yeah, baby. They asked me, would you like any sauce with your steak? I was like, no thanks. I got oh my, my own. God. So we just got our salads. Then it comes with an egg on top, but look at this big ass crouton, man. Look at this shit. It's so big in my hand. Yeah, right. It looks good. Taste test. I'll be the judge of this. She'll be the judge of it. I just don't know how to eat this with a big crouton. Yeah, you know, maybe don't try the crouton yet. I'll take a bite of it. Oh, it's hot. Just a regular Caesar salad? Oh, nice. But the croutons are soft. You know how usually they're crispy? Oh, yeah. And then it does have an egg. Oh yeah, it has I'll an egg it. on top. I'll taste it. It's called a poached egg. Break or it, break it. Ooh. Okay, let's try it. Cheers, guys. Oh yeah, baby. The egg is pretty cold, but it's one good. out of five. <laughs> like eating it with the egg is strange, but okay, like four out of five. Oh, four out of five. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Dang, you eat the whole thing? Good. Is it exquisite? So it doesn't taste like a crouton crouton. No? It tastes, it tastes like tastes a bread, like, huh? Almost like a hard cheese bread. Oh, really? Oh, yeah! It tastes like a hard cheese bread. Okay, so what do you read? Four out of five? Yeah, huh? Just realized this is a real candle. Oh, it could never hurt. How's your soda? A little flat. Mm, I thought it was flat in the beginning, but it's good. It's decent. Like you're the Coke master. Coke out of one out of five is like a three point seven. Really? You're a so good. A can of Coke. A can of Coke. So that's a five out of five. Oh, mine's a five out of five. Best strawberry lemonade ever. It's like oh, yeah, a pH you. level with water. <laughs> that's like with Coke, a carbonation level. Huh? A can of Coke is max carbonation. Okay, please. My salmon looks so delicious too. What did you get? Your steak? My steak. And paired with what? Your freaking name one sauce from home. Yeah, don't forget my fries. Your freaking name one sauce. Taste test. Rating the french fries. It's hot? The plate's hot. It's still sizzling? How's the crunch and the saltiness? Pretty good. Yeah? I'm just not the biggest fan of Parmesan on top of my fries, oh, yeah. but that's the only way that they come. But despite that, the fry itself, pretty delicious. Rated one three five. Three three point seven. Oh yeah, baby. Now try your steak. With your freaking a one sauce, bro. First, let's cut a piece. 
tears, guys. Oh, oh, hell no. It's hot. It's hot. It burned you. It burned my tongue, bro. You wanna wait on it? Yes. Oh, I think it's good. Okay. Tears, guys. Oh wait. Mmm. So that's what's hot. The plate is really, really freaking hot. So it cooked my A1 sauce. Oh, well, like it's still cooking it, huh? What you ready? 4.5. See? Why not fun? That's a big steak. It just cooked a little bit too much to my liking. Too not raw? Oh, yeah, baby. My turn. Oh, nice salmon. My salmon snack. Go, babe. Taste test. Mm, look it looks so good actually. Cheers. Cheers, guys. This is a big bite. Oh, nice. Oh, brother. Actually? Like, I need you to try it. No, I no thanks. Like, no, you can go around with salmon, but this one's really good. Like, the seasonings and everything, the taste. It's like so soft. It's like. Oh, wow. It's like so moist in there. Flavorful. Mm. Dude, this is good. Five out of five. Damn, no way. Five out of five. I'm scared. Record breaker. Again, it's like crispy at the bottom. It's like, mm, it's good. It's Delicious. Good. So what? Let's enjoy it now. Yeah, we're gonna finish and enjoy our food, and we'll, and we'll talk about later. dessert next. Oh, yeah. So we just finished our food. Uh -huh, we're awesome. gonna ask for the dessert menu right now. I was just informed. One of the waiters was laughing on I brought my own A1 sauce. He says I could have just asked for it because they had it here. <laughs> Why did you bring your own though? Because every steakhouse we go to, the, like I guess five star ones, they don't have A1 sauce. Yeah, like Boa did it, right? Boa, Spire, oh, yeah. 71 above. <laughs> no, they don't have A1 sauce. So now you're just they just came up to us and handed us hot towels. Lavender, hot lavender towels. To wash your hands along with yeah, this is so cool. a dessert menu. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. So, yeah, we don't know what to get. Wonderful experience. I know, it's so nice here, huh? Our dessert is so pretty. That's so cute for like all the detail that they put in. Aww. So, this Explain. is called a cookies and cream gelato cake. Oh, yeah, baby. So it's just basically a cake with That's ice cream. It's like cake. It's like yep. ice cream cake. Let's try it. But honestly, out of all the restaurants we've ever been to, I say this one takes the top. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. It's like, like before coming here, my favorite place was Boa. Low key still, though, I don't know. Because they have pasta. And, and usually when we go out to restaurants, I always get pasta, some sort of pasta for you. Let's try it. You like this song too. Yes. This is so cute. Cheers, guys! <laughs> five out of five, ten out of ten. Oh my gosh, five out of five, That's ten out of ten. Good? This is like the best dessert ever. Hello, Happy eighth anniversary. Eight anniversary. Our anniversary was actually on December 17th, but we didn't actually go to a dinner. We just, oh, he surprised me with the Rose Petal Hotel experience. But we just ended up staying in to be more close. So this is our anniversary dinner. Yep. He brought us cookies. Look at how cute. I know, huh? Cheers, guys. For like sweet, for like a sweet tooth. Yeah. That's after every meal, regardless if they give this to you. Yeah. Or if you have a sweet tooth at the end. Okay, okay, this we're gonna rate, we're gonna see how much it was, and then so, break it down. We're taking guesses. I'm thinking it's gonna be 189. I have no clue. I didn't even look at the prices, so I literally don't know. I don't know, like, I don't Just know. Just say higher or lower. Uh, I before think tip, higher. I think higher. It's funny because I saw online, I didn't tell him. So I chose a restaurant, right? <laughs> and I saw somewhere that it said like each person has to spend a, a minimum of a hundred dollars each. But I don't even know if we did because they I don't think they asked us they're like sure. But I don't did know, I saw that down. somewhere. Because if I told him that then he wouldn't have wanted a cup. How much is it? Let's try the cookies first. I Let's try the was cookies. one dollar off. Oh really? Yeah. One ninety. Worth it then. Worth it. I think it is worth, worth it. it then. Most worth it. You guys need to cut me worth it. What do you think? 
food, I give it a 4.2. Food, I give it, I give it a, I give it a 4. No. Food, I give it a 5. Well, all I tried was the salmon, salmon and the dessert. I didn't even try his steak. Price. Price. Give it a Worth it. I'm comparing it to both. For cost, I would rate it a 4 out of 5. I still think it could be a little bit cheaper, maybe, maybe, hopefully. Really? Maybe it's just I a high price, perfect. I don't know. For service, oh oh my God. a They're million so out of 5. Nice, yeah. Best service so we've nice. ever received. Yeah, like not even what was this nice. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you very much. You have a wonderful rest of the day. You as well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so awesome. much. Awesome, thank you. But yeah, service, 10 out of 5. 10 out of 12, 15 out of 20. Uh, Best so service, good. like you can honestly. Yes, like literally ask everyone for. is so nice, and like literally, like every song that they play is vibes. We'll save these for later. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> We're done. Wait, hold up. I can't think. Wait, what it's did really you cold say? Out here. What did you say? Rate it one out of five. Go. Ten out of ten. We'll come again. Honestly, this will probably be Valentine's the go-to. Valentine's Day is coming up. Okay, buddy. Because this will probably so be the go-to steakhouse. Best so steakhouse big. in my opinion. Worth the money, most definitely. So most definitely, probably the five star over one star. Oh yeah. Actually, that one star, probably like a cool hour later, I was running back and forth to the restroom. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even tell you. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much if you tuned in this long. Yeah, I know. So. Let us know if you guys watched this far. Leave a uh, say an emoji on um, the cake emoji. Croissant. Okay, leave the croissant emoji. And if you if did, you I'll cash up you twenty bucks. Leave your cash up down below. Just kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. She's not kidding, do it. <laughs> okay. okay. Bye.